Welcome to Winescape TV and we are delighted to have with us Pierre from Simensig Wine Estates in Stellenbosch from South Africa. And as I say, we've been working our way through these wines. We're now moving on to the Pinotage, which is something I've been really looking forward to getting my hands on. Um, again, the label stands out a mile. I don't see anything like this. We just had the wonderful Chenin Blanc, so I'm excited to know what this Pinotage has got in store. I know we've got a couple of Pinotages uh, to try. We've got the Red Hill coming up shortly. But uh, for this moment, Pierre, talk us through this. Right, so Pinotage, uh, South African grape variety. It was uh, the crossing was made in at the University of Stellenbosch in the twenties by Professor Pierrot, and uh, the first commercial Pinotage bottle only bottled late in the fifties. So, um, so it's something really South African. Uh, I know there are a few other countries also producing Pinotage now. I've tasted one from California. I know there's one uh, from Germany. Uh, but, uh, and your thoughts are? <laughs> the one from California, I'd say, was actually quite good. I've had one from California, it was, it was okay. But I mean, yeah. I think, you know, Pinotage, you know, it's, it's South African, it's, you mm. know. I think it's a variety, you need to know how to work with it. Uh, a bit of special treatment in the, in the cellar. Also, the, the, the best vineyards we have are all bush vines, so not trellised. Uh, mm -hmm. smaller, smaller structure, so it's naturally quite a, a small yield. So really concentration of flavour. You harvest uh, the grapes quite ripe, and then quite short on the skins. Uh, we would do a cold soak for color extraction, okay, and then um, start fermentation. After about four, maximum five days on the skins, we would remove the wine. Fermentation can finish away from the skins, uh, so it's really short, not to over extract. Color is easy, really easy to get on pinotage, so so you don't need extended maceration mm -hmm. color. Um, this this wine we're tasting now, the Simons of Pinotage, is unwooded. Uh, so we don't use any oak in the in the process. So here we really focus on that sweeter berry fruit. Pinotage always has this sweetness of fruit. Mm. Um, so really just focus on that, making it slightly lighter style than the radial Pinotage we'll taste a bit later. Um, this one you can eat, you can also chill a little bit in the summer, serve it at 15 degrees, and, uh, and then just have a glass by itself. Is that what the majority of South Africans do? Do they like to chill their Pinotage? Oh, well, red wine in general, taste, you know. uh, especially in summer, you know, when it's uh, 30 degrees outside, you, you chill all your wines, whether it's uh, oh, a beer. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, that is absolutely fantastic. It has got a, again, it's got a little slight smokiness to it, but as Pierre was saying, because it hasn't sort of been uh, exposed to too much wood, it's just the fruit is coming to the fore, which I think is absolutely delightful. And I said, uh, we look forward to trying the Red Hill uh, Pinot Jarge in a while, which, uh, which I, I'm sure has got packs a bit more of a punch. Um, but for this, is, as I said, this would work really well as, as a chilled wine. Um, it's, it's, it's got some very, very delicate flavours. And so, cheers is all I can say to that. Thank you, Pierre.